It took the runners on a challenging route through jungles and villages and up some steep hills. At various times, a few runners went missing, including the 12 and 14 year old Nepali scholars. Holding! But they all ended up back at the on in at the end after some blatant shortcutting and physical incapacity to handle the gross humidity, long length, and steep climbs. After a lot of time spent thrashing around in the jungle, the paper emerged. After passing along Bandipur's main street, the paper led up to the last holding check on the top of the steep and massive hill that overlooks the town. In all, the run took about three hours, a bit long, but worthy of a special celebration day. We got back, the, the last of the runners, the front, front runners got back in three hours. That's what's called a ball breaker hash. After the run, the Grand Master convened the circle, the most hallowed of all Hesh traditions. He invited the crowd to abuse the hares for setting such an arduous run. Um, I'd like to invite comments from the circle as to the run and the walk today. What did people think of it? And the virgins were then introduced and suitably harassed. He then picked on a whole range of visitors, newcomers, and leavers. Others were brought into the center for various other infringements and violations of hash protocol, such as being too helpful and courteous to others, wearing startling items of clothing, bonking in the night, and spending too long watching the local bathing beauties. But, but I'm sure it's all recorded on film. Yes. Yeah, film group. They all had to chug down a down down beer. Finally, it was time to award the hashit to the person who had committed the greatest infringement of the day. I propose today's hashit the GM. Yeah. Yeah. Well, abandoning the hash in the middle like that. Even when I was I told him that There was no contest, with the Grandmaster winning the hashit unanimously for mismanaging the weekend. Mismanagement is one of the most hallowed of all hash traditions. Yes, to the skipping mismanagement! Yes! 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 Yes!
Here's a city man, he's a blue, he's a hacker, hey, blue and blue, he's a fish for so they say, they're gonna have a long run. Later that evening, despite sore legs, the crowd tore up the dance floor. Hashing is not for everyone, and there are those who love it and schedule their lives around being able to make it every Saturday. And there are those who think it's a bunch of beer-drinking fools who are just wasting time acting half their age and making fun of other people. Well. Everyone's entitled to their opinion and to not have a sense of humor. But what you see every week is a very diverse group. From the US ambassador to a yoga master to computer geeks to housewives. In fact, anybody with half a mind to do the hash. There are even two Nepali boys who joined the hash one time when we ran through their village and have since shown up every Saturday, mostly coming on the local bus. And who you are doesn't matter at the hash. You run or walk. You sweat. Sweating. You get lost. You fall in a river. You get covered in leeches and mud. And you drink beer. End of story. Once you've been to enough hashes, nicknames are bestowed, or rather earned, by doing something unfortunate. Such lovely names as Doggy Style, for the dog lover, Sweaty Locks, for the perspirationally challenged, and Nice Hash, well, just because. People hash for many different reasons, and nowadays, many more locals are joining in the fun, along with the traditional expat crowd. Basically, you know, you saw a lot of this. Uh, I was doing computers those days, you know, so all my clients, a lot of them were uh, in the USAID, in the embassies and all that. So, you know, it was a nice thing to be around with these dudes, you know, so I, that's how I started. I came about three years ago, I started coming. Back then, there were hardly any Nepalese. There were very few. Asokda is one of them. Yes. And who else? And Yogi used to be there. And Shiva too. And then, you know, after that, we, st we wanted to get more young people. There was more the old, old farts back then. No offense, either. The Hajj, besides being a wonderful place to exercise and um, see, um, see many parts of Kathmandu in Nepal that uh, we resident, residents of Kathmandu have never seen before, you know, uh, we haven't seen things beyond Chakrapath, you know, and we've, we see so many places, sacred places, scenic places, um, villages, it's wonderful, you know, I love it. And also what I like about the hash is, uh, even though there, there's a huge international presence of people and many could be from embassies and uh, uh, people who work for the UN, etc., uh, there's no, um, there's no status, you know. It's not a status-conscious kind of thing. You could be, uh, you could be a, 
um, you, you could be anybody and you don't have to feel like you have to, you are lower or higher than anybody, you know. There's, what's that word? There's, a, hierarchy, no, there's hierarchy. no hierarchy. So I like that. I don't know, Nepalese, I don't see many Nepalese coming there. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, now slightly, you know, you see new faces, and more Nepalese coming, but still, there's so many people I think should be <laughs> joining it, eh? We brought a couple of people. It's never most of them, to me. yeah. Never no, most of the me. people they continue, but there's some people they don't want to continue. I used to uh, run in Paswati area, around Paswati area, but the Doma. <laughs> that is local, as local, as a, local <laughs> area, eh, by the way. That's not local That's area. Fast, but man. actually, do, Doma has brought me here. Then I like it. Oh, then, uh, Doma introduced yeah, you. Doma, Doma introduced me. Yeah, Doma then I like uh, the Hess. Oh, now the Hess oh. is in the blood. Yeah, it's in the <laughs> blood, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. so, so, we are coming regularly, yes. The Bandipur Hash Weekend was a great way to celebrate 1,500 hashes spread over 28 years. Let's hope that it keeps flourishing for thousands more hashes whatever happens to its interesting and unpredictable host country. Long live the Himalayan hush!